right, we're good to go. The limo is waiting outside. Oh, yeah, you did great today. You do great at every performance. You don't even have to ask. It is pretty cold, isn't it? I don't know why your stylist makes you wear such revealing outfits. Stop joking around. You're already adding fuel to the fire. Giving fans those ambiguous answers when they ask if we're dating? We'll see, and maybe is going to bite us in the butt one day. I'm not mad, I just... Look, we'll talk about it at the hotel later, okay? Hop in the limo. I'll meet you there. Room's clear. Come on in. You don't have to hug me. I told you I'm not mad at you. I've just been trying to keep my distance a bit. We still have to appear professional. And you constantly teasing the fans with, Oh, maybe we are in a relationship. Oh, maybe we aren't. Isn't helping. My job is to protect you, and you're making it a lot harder by enabling your fans. I... I just hate this. I want to go on dates in public with you. I want to be able to spend more time with you without thinking about events or, or schedules. Hell, I just want us to be able to walk through a park together without a crowd forming. It's selfish of me, I know. But I just want us to be able to be together. Without constantly having to worry about the outside world. And that doesn't seem possible. Honey, we do have to worry about everyone else. What your manager thinks matters. What the fans think matters. You have such a huge platform. Why would you even think about sabotaging it? No, that's enough. Stop putting your feelings first and think about your future. Us being together should not be more important than your livelihood. Maybe I messed up by confessing to you. Maybe... I should have just kept my feelings to myself. I'm sorry, I've been thinking about this for a little while. We got into this relationship without truly thinking ahead. This can't last forever. You're playful about it, but I know not being able to say whether we're in a relationship or not. It's really tearing you up inside, and I hate causing you this unwanted pain. What I'm trying to say is, we need to break up. It's for the best. Please, don't be stubborn about this. I don't want to drag you down. I do love you. I wish I could say I didn't. Make this whole thing easier on you. Make it easier to forget about me. But I do. I'm just a distraction. And that's the last thing I want to be. Mm. Goodbye. I'll see you at work. It's been a few days since I've seen her. I hope she's doing okay. 
Hopefully a nice cup of coffee will help calm my nerves. Is that? No way. Look, I know you're famous and all, so you're trying to hide your identity. But big goofy sunglasses and that weird hat? That's not going to cut it. What are you doing here anyway? You came to see me. How'd you even know I was here? Our colleagues ratted me out, huh? <laughs> now, why would they do that? This feels like deja vu. They ship us, huh? <sighs> Who doesn't at this point? You're a real handful. You know that, right? But I'm kind of glad about that. I guess uh, a part of me was hoping you'd be determined enough to try and get us back together. But I didn't think you'd stalk me in this crazy disguise. You always have some wild ideas. You actually have another brilliant idea. Well, what is it? You're leaving the company. Honey, uh, are you sure that's what you want? I told you I don't want you to throw away your life just for me. You're right. The company has not been treating you well. Especially with them making you fake date that other singer. If this is what you really want. If you think this is for the best. I'm behind you 100%. You're going to announce you're leaving at the music awards next week. <laughs> you are diabolical. But also very smart. If you announce you're leaving in front of a huge crowd, the company has no choice but to accept. Whatever you need me to do for you, honey, I'm here. And I can't wait to start this new chapter in our life.